Hello, hello, hello. My name is Coach Dave and welcome back to Resident Evil 6 last episode. We found out more about Jake and Sherry's story in this episode. We're going to find out what a secret Ada's been hiding. Ada Wong. Not much is known about the international spy Ada Wong, including her age or whom she works for, even her true name as well as her aims remain a mystery. What is known that no matter how difficult her, her missions may be, she has the brains and the physical ability and the Leon to pull them off without a hitch. While there is stoic, uh, stoicism uh, in her demeanor, it is her poise and sangfroid uh, that she is known for. I don't even know what those things mean. She appears to be working towards a specific goal, but once she accomplishes it, she is the type that would have no qualms about betraying her handlers. In 1998, she went to Raccoon City with the intent of uh, sec secreting out a sample of the G-Virus. It was there that she first met Leon Kennedy, a rookie cop at the time following the events of Raccoon City. She, had been known, she has been known to offer aid to Leon on his missions, but mostly as a ploy to enlist his help. Currently, Ada, currently Ada has snuck aboard a submarine after being, contracted, after being contacted by Derek Simmons, a man she hasn't heard from since the Raccoon City incident. Ooh, you were working for him then. Damn. While on the submarine, she discovers a mission that was never fielded to her, and a terrible secret that will spur her to act. What form those actions will take is anybody's guess. Report on Jake Muller. Mr. Simmons. The mission is to find the son of Albert Wesker has been uh, to find Al son of Albert Wesker has been completed. I have confirmed that Jake Muller is the biological son of Wesker. Name: Jake Muller. Age: 20. Citizenship: Citizenship: Republic of Edonia. Physical characteristics: Caucasian, 190 centimeters. That is tall. Blue eyes. Uh, has been in the employ of Edonia Edonian mercenaries for five years. Why wouldn't you bring up the scar on his face? That's a pretty glaring physical characteristic. I mean, what you've described there is a tall white man with blue eyes. Like, that's not that uncommon. He, uh, he's trained or fought in all parts of Europe, Middle East, and South America. A DNA sample from Muller proved his relationship to Wesker. Wesker's alleged immunity to viral infection has manifested itself in Muller. Unfortunately, the DNA sample I obtained would not be enough to assist with the C-virus research. A bodily fluid, blood, saliva, or bone marrow sample would be required. It is my recommendation that you dispatch your top agent to secure a tissue sample from Muller. Aww. I th I awed because I thought it was Sherry, but then I realized that it's probably act actually Ustinak. Because it was. Submarine. Ada Wong sneaks onto a submarine in order to find out what Derek Simmons is planning. When she gets there, she finds that the security systems respond to her fingerprints and voice, and there's information on him. And there is information on her that no one should have. Throughout the submarine, Derek's hand can be seen in it all. From the room decor to the layout itself, it is a mystery as to who built this submarine and for what purpose. Scorched Earth. Operation Bacillus Terminate was the name for the missile strike ordered by the US government to halt the spread of the virus in Raccoon City in 1988. The decision to raise the city of 100,000, killing infected and survivors alike, came from Derek C. Simmons. You fucker. A high-ranking government official, Raccoon City, uh, was a case study for his future plans as he believed the world would stop using traditional weapons and switch over to bioweapons. Yeah, because you're a dick. The data provided by Raccoon City allowed him to assess the efficiency of such weapons but he made certain that the truth of Umbrella's involvement and their bioweapons program would never be known. Eager to resolve the issue as quickly as possible, he urged the more hawkish members of the president's administration to eradicate Raccoon City for the sake of the country. Not saying it was the wrong call, but just, you're a fucker. Uh, the attack on Tall Oaks was devised by Simmons to show the world and dubious officials in government the threat bioweapons pose in the hands of terrorists, as well as to prevent President Benford from revealing the truth behind Raccoon City. Note found in a laboratory. To my dear sister Helena. Oh, it's Deborah. 
to my dear sister Helena. I'm sorry I was never the good sister I should have been. <sighs> Even though you love me unconditionally. I'm sorry for everything. They injected me with something. It's making me forget things, who I am, who you are even. I don't want that. Please know that I've always loved you too. I don't want to leave you hope you find someone to love you. I don't want to leave you. Hope you find someone to love you. Don't want to forget. Love you. Well, that's sad. I wasn't expecting that. Ada and Raccoon City. In 1998, Albert Wesker, an asshole, and J uh, Jake Muller's father sent Ada Wong on a mission in Raccoon City to retrieve a sample of the G-Virus William Birkin, another asshole, was hoarding for himself. When William's wife Annette, another asshole, uh, interfered with that mission, Ada used Leon, like an asshole, to, get, uh, to have him unwittingly ate her. Ada then made her way back to Albert with a sample of the virus in hand. In 2004, Albert ordered Ada to Europe to obtain a sample of the Las Plagas parasite. There she encountered Leon again and ended up stealing the parasite sample she had procured. He had procured. She did not, however, hand the sample to Albert. She kept it for herself and went off the grid. She had her own intentions for keeping the virus. She was not going to allow herself to be a pawn in Albert's plan for global domination. Sure. Bloodshot. During the biohazard incident, an extremely rare type of zombie was discovered. Uh, one that had most of its head destroyed. The creature was given the misnomer of bloodshot because of all its muscle tissue that was exposed. Unlike normal zombies, this creature, this creature is incredibly agile. And the speed with which it will attack and devour flesh is incom incomparable. These differences are thought to be a mutation brought on by the C-Virus. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. I can't think of what enemy that is. Derek and Carla, also known as cunts. Derek Simmons used countless test subjects in his efforts to clone Ada Wong. The main impediment to those efforts was finding subjects with compatible genetic structure because that's what a man wants using the extensive resources of the family. Derek learned that one of his own researchers, a Carla Rad uh, Radames, uh, would be a suitable candidate. Derek tricked Carla into taking part in the experiment because she believed Derek valued her and her work too much to risk her. She was wrong and Derek succeeded in creating the clone of Ada he had desired. While Carla looked and behaved similar to Ada, there was still a piece of her that remained Carla. Derek's relationship with Ada had only been professional, so he couldn't so he couldn't see that this clone was not the real Ada. You didn't even have a relationship with her? What the fuck is wrong with you? Whether through misguided affections or a desire to revenge himself on Ada, ooh, he ignored any nagging doubt and began to train and treat Carla as if she were the real Ada Wong. Carla, having lost most of her personality during the experiment, behaved as Derek wanted. That's actually very, very sad. But... <sighs> but she didn't emulate Ada. She wanted to kill everything. Ada really wasn't like that. Um, Carla, having lost most of her personality during the experiment, behaved as Derek wanted. But in the depths of her soul, there was still a spark of Carla's original self. And once it came to the surface... Oh, I see. Once it came to the surface, she vowed to destroy Derek, the man that ruined her life. I mean, it's... It, yeah. From Carla's papers. It won't be long before everything he ever feared will come true. My special pet resting beneath the sea, that giant hell beast that sucks... We'll be ready soon. All my little cocoons will also hatch shortly. My greatest creation will be the very undoing of everything he has worked for. It would be a shame though if he wasn't ready to live in a world of nightmares. I'll make his body a living reflection of the horrors I've unleashed. The world will so f be so far removed from the stability he craves, it will be complete chaos, and that chaos will destroy his body. 
So that was Adas. I'm gonna have to play the game. I, I mean, I'm planning on doing that again on Hardcore anyway, but yeah. I'm gonna have to play through the game to collect the rest of them, so... Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all... Pardon me, next episode. Goodbye.